The band of the Royal Marines parading through the Tower of London. They're here to mark a historic occasion. It's the first time one of their own is picking up the keys in almost a thousand years. The role of the Constable of the Tower is one of the oldest in the country. Since 1078, they've been the Crown's chief agent in the capital, watching over prisoners, overseeing operation and security. Before a distinguished audience, former Royal Marine Sir Gordon Messenger is stepping up to the plate with a standout military track record. The retired general once served as Vice Chief of the Defence Staff, having already led three commando brigade in Kosovo in 1999 and 40 commando years later in 2003's invasion of Iraq and in Afghanistan. He's now flanked by the 1st Battalion of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers and the Honourable Artillery Company, as well as a Royal Marine Guard of Honour as he's handed the tower's gold master keys. It's a change of scene for a great warrior, moving into a community behind the walls. The general is the 161st Tower Constable. It's now a ceremonial position, with the day-to-day -day tower upkeep down to the resident governor. I grant the safekeeping of the King's House to you. But the post once had its perks and quirks. Centuries back, he'd have been granted permission to seize any swan passing under London Bridge, or even take a couple of wine barrels from any merchant ship entering the pool of the city. It was a good role. The, the aim of the Constable of the Tower is to make sure you bring, bring money in for the, for the King, and, uh, and they, whatever floated past the, you know, the town of London and that river you know, was, was up, for, up for grabs, was up for taxes and all sorts of things. Um, but, yeah, a lot of things happened on that wharf out there, uh, but that, that was their job, bring the money in and, 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 uh, and, and keep, keep the nation uh, going. Uh, it's, it's, it's not as drastic as that these days. He'll miss out on the swans, but the chief beef eater says the general is already well settled behind the walls. We do these every six, seven years. It's not taking him long at all. It's part of the town of London, it's part of the community as well. So, you know, there's you know, our pub, that's where he comes and has a drink. That's where his family comes. We're a village of, you know, of um, you know, about 40 families, about 120 people. So, you know, when everyone goes at night, we've still got things going on in here. You know, the, the, you know, the odd party and, uh, and, uh, and whatever village communities get up to, that's what we're doing here. With a commando in the door, it's a new direction for the tower. But some traditions within the walls won't change. And it's off to an aptly named pub to celebrate. Wine barrels still on the cards after all. Tom Sables, Forces News, from the Tower of London. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.